friends. Hi, how are you? Okay, welcome to your sidereal reading. Uh, what does that mean? Um, I do not follow traditional astrology. So if you grew up your entire life, like I did, believing that you were a Pisces, um, it may not be true because Western astrology is not uh, correct. <laughs> so um, go ahead and follow the link in the description. Figure out your true signs and then come back and watch those. Okay. And yeah, la, this reading may not resonate for everyone. I, I, I hope it does, uh, but it probably won't. So feel free to watch your other signs, specifically your sun, your rising, your moon, your Venus, and your north node. Uh, and Jupiter. So, um, yeah, let's dig in, shall we? Okay. So, overall, Pisces, you show up as the Six of Wands. Victory, accomplishment. Your person shows up as strength, um, having inner strength, confidence, composure. Overall outcome, you both are feeling like the Queen of Swords. You're both feeling composed, logical, all is well in the world. No love, though. Notice that? Passion, strength, logic, no love, no passion. So, you, I'm not sure if you're the one who ended this connection or if you just moved on. Because we have you showing another six. We have you showing up as the Six of Swords in the past, moving on to calmer waters. Um, your person in the past showed up as the moon reversed. Secrets being revealed and also just being kind of stuck. I think they were kind of messed up by the fact that you moved on to calmer waters. And in the overall for the past, we have the chariot. This is control. This is fast movement toward whatever you both in opposite directions were going toward. Um, present energies. We have you as the eight of wands. This is fast movement, communication, um, moving towards whatever is gonna make you happy. Could be career, could be a new job venture, like, we'll, we'll see. Um, your person is the page of wands in reverse. Currently, they have no direction, and they're kind of in this phase of wanting to create conflict. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> for the present outcome, we have five of cups reversed. So you're both feeling a little bit sad about this connection. Yes, my throat chakra is starting to go. Um... Moving on, accepting it, like, okay, this is it. This is the end. I feel like you've been broken up for a few months at least. So um, future energy, you get your nine of cups. You get your wish fulfillment. Uh, future energy, this person is showing up as the queen of pentacles. They're just focusing on their money, focusing on their home. Um, but then for the outcome for the two of you, we have the page of cups. And I was like, what? <laughs> so Page of Cups is like a happy surprise. So of course, my nosy self had to look into that. And I was like, okay, what is that happy surprise for Pisces? We got the sun. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is total happiness. This is like bliss, like blissed out. So I was like, okay, show me what that's about. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment again. Queen of Cups, compassion, intuition, like not so much logic. This is the first like real cuppy energy that we've had, like not so much logic, just love. And then we have Eight of Wands again, fast communication, fast movement, action. With the Six of Swords in reverse. Fast movement, communication, love, wish fulfillment due to a return. So yeah, I think you have a reconciliation on your hands. Um, overall outcome, you have the Ten of Cups with the Queen of Swords. She starts and ends the reading. So... She's all about logic, <clears throat> coming at things from a really clear headspace. There's no wishy-washy energy here. I see a lot of thinking and logic and fast movement. Um, 
but there's not a lot of in and out energy. There's not a lot of that uh, illusionary energy. It's just total friggin bliss. Like you and this person coming back into a union of some kind of some sort of reconciliation. It might just be communication about a reconciliation at this point um, or in the future energy. It's making you friggin happy. Like the sun, we have eight of wands twice. We got ten of cups. We have nine of cups twice. Six of swords reverse. Like, okay. Okay, Pisces. Okay. So that's where we're at. So right now, you're in present energy where you're kind of steamrolling ahead to your Nine of Cups. And I have a feeling this Nine of Cups is very different from what you don't see coming. For your Oracle message, we have all that glitters in community. I think you're heading back into a reconciliation of some kind with this person, whoever this person is that you've been thinking of. And it's just making you real happy. So let's see what's up. Let's look at some oracles. I don't feel the need to further clarify anything um, that we have on the board right now. So we'll just we'll just dip into oracles. Okay. Let's do romance angels. Can you please have some messages for Pisces? Messages for my Pisces, please. Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Wow. Okay, you might be dealing with an Aquarius. The reason I say this is because I had like hardcore reconciliation vibes for my Aquarius reading that I just did. I don't know if it's posted. It's not posted actually, but it will be. And definitely before, before Pisces. They got the exact same cards and they all flew out together. We have let go of control issues because reconciliation is coming flirt. It's safe for you to love. Codependency. You deserve love. You might be dealing with an Aquarian twin flame or an air sign twin flame. Bottom of the deck, we have passion. Holy F. Okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. I don't know why I felt called to say air sign twin flame. But. All right. Uh, let's get some messages for Pisces, please. <clears throat> messages for Pisces. Messages. Messages for Pisces, please. <clears throat> messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Okay. So we have transformation, passion again, blessings, <coughs> manifestation, trust, Reconciliation. Twice. Ooh, let's pull some love messages. I'm so excited. I see codependency. That's very twin flamey to me. That's very um that's pretty typical of a twin flame relationship. So I'm not I'm not really phased whenever I get that card. Like, yeah, it's a problem. Like both both parties typically have codependency issues they have to work on. Just Keep an, something to keep an eye out for. Messages for Pisces, please. Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Interesting. Messages for Pisces. We have one more message for Pisces, please. One more message for Pisces. One more message for Pisces, please. Two minutes. Like nine. We have one more message for Pisces. One more message for Pisces. 
Okay. Interesting messages. So we have be bold and make the first move. A personal issue reaches resolution. Don't let your past hold you back. Look at the bigger picture. And then we have your commitment is being tested. Conclusions are within reach. Hmm. What's going on, Pisces? I feel like those were warnings. Look at the bigger picture. Don't let your past hold you back. A personal issue reaches resolution. Hmm. Look at the bigger picture. I want to look at that really quick, okay? Um, let's use this. Tell me more about look at the bigger picture for Pisces. Tell me more about look at the bigger picture for Pisces. Interesting. So we have Nine of Pentacles upright, which is like the single fabulous, single flirty and fabulous, right? And then we have Seven of Swords reversed, which is usually my confession card. And then we have the Hangman reversed, which is about seeing things from a different perspective. Look at the bigger picture. And King of Swords reversed. Was that air sign again? King of Swords reversed is he's kind of mentally unstable and he's um, really cutting with his words. He's greedy. Like the king has fallen from his throne, that kind of energy. But then top of the deck, we have the sun again. Tell me more about King of Swords in reverse. Hi Priestess, use your intuition. Tell me more about King of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords, anxiety. Tell me more about King of Swords. You definitely have a choice to make here. We also got, so after Nine of Swords, we got the Magician, Gemini Energy, um, manifesting, being in control, Ace of Pentacles, this is like an offer or a gift of like earthly goodies, tangible goodies, physical. And then we have Ten of Cups. So, you're getting what you want. This person is your wish fulfillment. You're getting what you want. But I almost feel like it's at a price. Let's look at the Seven of Swords in reverse, and then we'll move on, okay? We'll move on to some message cards. Tell me more about Seven of Swords in reverse for Pisces. Tell me more about Seven of Swords in reverse for Pisces. Tell me more about Seven of Swords in reverse for Pisces. Tell me more about... Hmm. Tell me more about Seven of Swords in Reverse for Pisces. Seven of Swords in Reverse. Sorry guys, just give me a second. Mm -hmm. This doesn't make any sense. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Seven of Swords in reverse.
you're definitely accepting this offer. You're definitely friggin' stoked that this person is coming back. But there's something. There's something here. I don't see cheating cards. Like, we do have Seven of Swords in reverse, but that's usually the coming clean. So, for Seven of Swords in Reverse, we've got Four of Swords, which is about resting, going within, taking stock, um, taking a break. Basically, you're dead, right? And then we got the Two Cups, which is soulmate love, soulmate energy. And then we got Eight of Pentacles, which is about like studying, putting the work in. And then we have Four of Cups, which is about apathy. Boredom. You're so happy though. And then bottom of the deck we have the fool. And then we have two of pentacles on the top of the deck. And that it can be a juggling card. I'm just really surprised we didn't get like the false person or deception with the romance angels if this person is being deceptive. Because when I the feeling I'm getting is that they're after something. Like this is surface level. Like this offer is surface. Tell me more about the fool. This reading just took a hard left. Tell me more about the fool, please. Damn. Tell me more. Tell me more about the fools. About the fool. Tell me more about the fool. more about the fool, please. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to hit my bait. I don't drink, but if I was going to drink, that would be the moment that I would take a shot of something. Okay. Pisces that I am reading for. This sucks. You got the food. I was real happy. We got reconciliation. I didn't see any nasty cards until we got to the moonology. The moonology was kind of like, like... I had that feeling, you know? <clears throat> So, to clarify the Fool, all of my cards are upright, so if they come out reversed, I know they're meant to be reversed, right? To clarify the Fool, we have the Lovers reversed, Ace of Wands reversed, and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. I further clarified, and I got the Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups reversed, and the Two of Wands. I'm getting two stories here. 
neither one of them is very pleasant. So for the full reverse, we have the lover's reverse, ace of wands reverse, and the nine of pentacles. Could be two things. The story that I'm really getting heavy is that this person during this time of separation was with somebody else. It didn't work out. There was no more passion and it came to a hard stop. They may have cheated on you. You may find out that like before they left you, they were messing around with this person. Okay. There's, there's something like that here. Um, the other thing that I'm getting is you go for this new start and it doesn't work out. You find yourself in the exact same position. Lovers, no, no bad communication from lovers reverse. Um, no, there's no passion and doesn't go anywhere. And it leaves you guarded, insecure, and having to make a choice about where to go again because we also have two of swords which is about not wanting to make the choice having that blindfold on staying in a, in a bad place because you don't want to make the choice but judgment is here pick your storyline neither one of them is happy the good news is wheel of fortune is in your favor So either you find out they were messing around with somebody before they actually left and it, it hurts you or this doesn't go anywhere. What is the final outcome between Pisces and this person in December? What is the final outcome between Pisces and this person in December, please? Final outcome between Pisces and this person in December. It's the only card that came out. Three of Swords reverse. This is Reunion. Healing from a past betrayal. Top of the deck, we have Ace of Cups. Waiting for those ships to come in. It's Reunion. Tell me about Three of Swords reversed. What was the betrayal? Bottom of the deck, you have Ace of Swords. It's clarity. Uh, it's a breakthrough. Um, here's the bottom line. This person is coming through as a page. Okay? You have Page of Cups reversed, Page of Swords, and you did get Wheel of Fortune. Okay? This is news you don't want. And this person is coming forward as a page. They're not coming forward as a king. Losses are coming off. So this reading is breaking my heart. Uh, overall, we even have the Page of Pentacles. This person is coming in as a page. This person messed up. And you're going to find out about it. Or you're going to feel it. Most Pisces are extremely empathic. You're going to feel this kind of hanging over your head, and I think eventually you'll get to the bottom of it, and you'll find out what it is, okay? Is this person being genuine with this reconciliation offer? Is this person being genuine with this reconciliation offer? Yeah. They know they messed up. You got four of wands, ten of pentacles, the Emperor, all upright, Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, the World, and the Hermit. Yeah, Pisces, they love you. They know they messed up. They're being genuine. They want this to work, okay? At least there's that. At least there's that.
we're gonna since that took a hard left from where I thought we were going, we're just gonna pull and we're already at 25 minutes. We're gonna pull from Messages of the Heart by Aqua Moonlight. I'm obsessed with this deck. Uh, she's on Etsy. I've seen a bunch of other readers use them too. They're great. Messages for Pisces, please. Messages for Pisces from this person. Messages from this person to Pisces. Messages, please. Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. in Baltimore. It's very loud. <laughs> Messages for Pisces, please. Mm. Messages for Pisces. Man, this person does not want to talk. Yeah. Right. Mm, let's see. <laughs> We got baggage. Uh, I'm sweeping away toxicity to make room for what's really important. We do see that. And then we got letter. I will be writing you a message. Yep. Jealousy. I feel like you've moved on without me. And that's difficult for me to see. Top of the deck, we have time. I know the clock is ticking for us. Won't you wait for me? And top of the deck we have, hurting you was never my intention, but now it's hurting me too. Guilt. Guilt. Okay. I think it's going to work out. It's just going to be a little rough around the edges, okay? Give them a chance. Let them explain themselves. And then come back and tell me what happened because this reading took me for a ride. <laughs> have a great week, Pisces. I will see you very soon. Bye.